Okay, any Otwick home? Oh god, there's a lot of them. Do they know we're coming or something? That's weird. Attention alien vessel. This world is under the full jurisdiction of the Otwick Proctorate. We extend a subdued but civil greeting. Well guys, Mr. Mr. Otwick man, we've got the Ultron! We got the Ultron, we fixed it for you. You better be happy about this. You better be bloody happy. Foolish tricksters. Don't you know, the Druze tried to play that ploy on us just a few days ago. You say you have the Ultron, that you wish to return it to us. Lies! The moment our back is turned, you will sneak down to the surface of this world and deprive us of our destructive device of dignity. If you truly had our Ultron repaired to its state of perfection, you would surely take it to the Proctors at our homeworld at Beta Aquarii. Speak no more of this subject. So, the Drews tried to get the bomb from us as well. Or the, well, they tried to get the bomb from the Utwig even. That's weird. Oh, the Micron just moved there, so they must have... Um, they look like they've been obliterated. Their sphere of influence got completely destroyed and they're moving back into the uh, Scorpy system now. So yeah, they must have been obliterated by the Sirene. Um, but yeah, so the Drews tried to do that to them. So we thought the Drews were the nice guys, and they, they really are. Mel, Mr. Mel Norman Man was right. Greenish was correct about the Drews. They did sell us the Rosie Sphere, though, which I guess was quite crucial to um, helping fix the Ultron. I bet they didn't know that. But we've got to get to Beta Aquarii now to actually tell them we got the, the uh, we got the uh, the device, the the Ultron, whatever it does, whatever it is. They'll be really happy about us having the Ultron. Unless they think we're lying, just like the Druze did, and open fire on us, because uh, they have some pretty nice looking ships. Um, they've got some sort of like. La looks like they've got this sort of like uh, lasers, four sets of lasers on each side of the wings. Okay, let's see what they have to say about what we have in our possession. Let's go. Normally, we would not bother to acknowledge your presence. But you find us in a state of moderate depression, instead of our normal cycle of self-destructive tendencies. Okay, so this is the main homeworld of the, uh, the Utwig then. So let's tell them now, we've got the Ultron! Ah, should I set my gaze upon such a sight? I might suffer sleepless nights for years on end. It is a symbol of the collective Utwig failure. It is our ultimate tragedy. Ah! Every divot, every crack on its surface is etched forever in my soul. Remove it from my sight, lest I purge my... Hey, that is not the devastated Ultron. It is the image of the Ultron before. A trick. A trick! Oh, I had no idea that any species could sink so low. How dare you try to manipulate me with that cheap stage prop. Why, it's not even... Hey, wait a second. It looks like... Can it be? She said it is a miracle. Oh, happy day. Joyous occasion. You have our eternal thanks, good captain. You will be immortalized as the blessed figure that delivered unto us our future. We will revere your very likeness. Let me take the Ultron. Yes, I feel the link, the knowledge, and the power. Hmm, it seems that there is much to do. Indeed, it seems that you should proceed to the second moon of the sixth planet of Zeta Hyades and take what you find there. We no longer have need for it, but the Ultron reveals that you will. I thank you for your part in the grand scheme. We now recover that which is ours via destiny and proceed to perform our essential service for the universe. But wait! The Ultron throbs and whistles. Matters of significance are being relayed to our brains. Oh, it has been so long since we communicated with the Ultimate in such a manner. But slowly, the truth is revealed. Our destiny. We have been directed to join with our Supox allies and attack you! No, wait, that's wrong. Sorry. We attack your enemies. The Urquan and the Kuran. No, 
that's not quite right either. What? Oh, okay. We must strike only the black ships, only the core R. In addition, we will grant you the boon of our Jugger Starship designs, as well as a supply of trained Starship commanders. Our Juggers are nigh invincible. I can also say with certainty that our allies, the Supox, will give you the same assistance. Together, we shall defeat the Core R, or at least provide you with a few more months to find a more permanent solution. Now, Captain, we must leave to prepare our battle fates. Wish us luck. All right, so that's brilliant. So now we've got the Utwig on our side and the uh, the Supox, I guess, as well. So they're going to go and take down the Korra. Of course, they're actually winning the. Do Sadly, I'm oh, with embarrassment. I possess the distinguished honor of addressing the legendary Earth Captain. Oh yeah. Please excuse my lack of proper facial appliance. This occasion ideally calls me to don the expression of ultimate gratitude. Eesh. I am compelled by the forceful emanations of the Ultron to describe the appearance of the mask. Its foundation is composed entirely of a matrix of beetle secretions and trubofern in an intricate and complex texture. The process is extremely time-consuming, since even the best-trained beetle colonies will produce a thousand rejects for every successful foundation. Alas, it will be many years before any of the epic will be able to wear such a mask. Of course, they need to get their masks off, their mask of total embarrassment and shame, whatever it's called. Um, we anticipate an air of glory for the Utwig! There is Farewell! For us to do. May the Eldron be with you. Oh, that was, a, it was cool how the uplifting bee just sort of appeared as I said that. It was, a, it was like a scene from a film. It was amazing. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying before, before that guy cut me off there, um, it looks like the... Uh, Oh, we're going to fight for us now. Let's see. Yes, they're moving in. They're coming to take down the Korra. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, it's time that we start we start taking them down. Um, yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely time to start hitting back at the Korra and the Urquan. Of course, we've got this massive super bomb we're going to get. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be brilliant. Um, now, of course, they actually said that it was going to be around Criturus, is where they said they were centering around. So that's probably where the great Sarmatra, the the, Pros, uh, the Procyon, the uh, the Shamur, were saying we're talking about. So we're going to have a look at Grand Criturus when we've got the super bomb, um, and that's probably where we need to look for 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 the uh, for the Sarmatra and take it down. Um, so yeah, definitely going to have to look there. But hopefully now the Korra will not win the doctrinal conflict as quickly and therefore give us a lot more time to, you know, do other things. Oh, I thought they were friendly with us now. What the hell's going on? What's going on? Oh, no way! No way, that's Druge! Oh my god, I've never fought these guys before. Are they good? Okay, I'll save the game. What the hell? Meeting you here, Captain. What on earth is going on? Why are the Druge here? They're gonna try and steal the bomb now. What are you doing here? I'm gonna get the bomb, you're not taking the bomb, I'm taking the bomb. The appointed representatives of the Grimms Corporation merely come to obtain the fair and reasonable payment for our goods. We traveled to this region of space years ago to sell the useless Ultron device to the Ootwing. We knew even then of the weapon on the surface below us. This was to be our price. The Ootwing used a clever ploy to cheat us. I had convinced the morose Ootwing fools that the Ultron was the answer to all of their pitiful dreams. Powers? The Proctor Coin? Will it give us the powers we crave? I assured them that, yes, the Ultron would give them the second sight. The Ultron would allow them to see into the past and the the Ultron would slowly imbue each of them with unique secret powers of great significance. The Ultron would ensure that their race's huge potential for greatness would be fulfilled. Then, then a mistake was made. Enough foolishness. We will take the precursor device from the surface and then leave. Thereafter, I may see fit to bequeath the entire planet to you, Captain. 
for your invaluable services in the past. Provided. No, I don't care about what happened ages ago, right? It's your fault. You shouldn't have been. You shouldn't have been tricked. Liar! It is we who are the genuine owners, not you, Captain. Those many years ago, when we offered the Ultron to the Ukwe, how they capered and laughed at their good fortune. Fools! Then they begged to hold the device just for a moment to close the deal. I permitted this. A grievous mistake. The moment the High Prompter touched the Ultron, her body arched and her eyes rolled back in her head. She began to babble meaningless phrases and howl like a beast. We had expected the Ukwik to fall for our cell, to buy the useless device, but never with such gusto. Their self-doubt and lack of clear reason left them vulnerable to our every manipulation. But then, the Proctor's body relaxed, and her eyes slowly closed. When they reopened, her visual orbs showed with a wild and frightened light. This is all we could have dreamed of, and more, she intoned. And now, through just your price, I opened my mouth to speak, but before I could utter a word, the Proctor interrupted. Wait! The Ultron feeds your thoughts directly to me! Do not speak! I know that you desire! What could I say? That the Ultron was a farce and could do no such thing? I was stunned in sight. The Proctor continued. The intrude of the Crimson Corporation desire an object of great antiquity, something of secret function and value. Very well, it shall be done. And with that, we were led to a small vault. The Proctor ceremoniously opened the door of the vault and explained that because we had been of such great service, all of the treasures within were now ours. Inside, we found a hodgepodge of Ancient, useless artifacts, a glowing rod, an absurd trident, and more such junk. I could see no way to salvage the disastrous situation at that time. But when I heard of you, your travels, and your foolish quest for freedom, I realized that you could be the agent of our justice. And lo, it is so. You have heard our justification. It is valid and unassailable. Now go and do not return. Yeah, see, it was. I told you, you were being tricked. Yeah, there we go. Your feelings don't matter. You are the ones who you, you messed up. We'll take it. We'll take the bomb. No, you will not. We know your soul, young captain. It is no brighter than ours. We acknowledge our greed. We revel in it. You are the dishonest one, hiding your shame in shadows. You fabricate justifications, rationales. In the end, we are just the same. But now you stand in our way. You will not be moved. Therefore, we will add your true name to our legend of hatred. But first, Die, child! Die! That really wasn't a clever move by the Druze there. I mean, they're not seeing our flagship in battle. Um, look at them. Look at them controlling their ships. They're just moving their arms around. Okay, let's take this down in one hit. Well, oh, it was a good shot by him, but I really don't care. I've got 145 crew. Oh, he's just blasting around. That's really annoying to hit. Can we not just... Okay, let's get close. There we go. Down, Fizo. You can die. Ha 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 ha. There we go, 1 nil. Four more to take. Look at him. Look at him just moving his arms and legs around. He's like doing thriller. What is he doing? Ooh, okay. Oh, they, they're good. they've got good shots. I think the AI may be harder for these. I don't know. Or maybe they're just better ships. They're harder to hit because they're like. They've got massive recoils, it seems, on their on their snipers almost. Oh, God, there's a good hit again. Ooh, ah, don't hit the planet. That would be bad. That would have been a real bad thing to happen. Oh, 
one more hit and he's down. Uh, yeah, they're not very powerful really. They haven't got much crew. There we go, there he goes. Files always down. Three more to go. This is easy. This is easy. Maybe doing a little bit of damage to us, not that much. They've only got like three hits on us. They've got a very powerful weapon, that's all. But we've got just as powerful weapons and three at a time and homing. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. This is going to be easy to hit now. Watch him. There we go. He's driven right into it. 3 nil. This is brilliant. We've just taken each one down so quickly. Look at him in this stupid ship. He doesn't know what to do. He looks so confident, so overconfident, so ambitious. It's just ridiculous. Okay, right, here we go. Third shot. Oh, look at that. Beautiful precision and total dominance over the Druze here. And Peeny, I mean, you might as well just go home. It's over. It's over and done with, my friend. That is 5-0. It's the ashes all over again. Okay, then. So, nice... 1k are you? And, oh yeah, we're down on the planet. We're down on planet 6, moon B. There's not many good resources, but there's an energy source there. Let's see what this bomb looks like. Look at that. It's huge! How are we going to get that on the lander? <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Okay, a huge precursor device on the planet's surface. Giant black cylinder. The sin with, within, a, within a simple defensive grid. I've already neutralized the grid. Well... Actually, Jenkins just drove through it, and it by accident it seemed to work. Okay, there we go. That was good, wasn't it? Well done, Jenkins. Okay, precursor script. Warning repeated again and again and again. Okay, the energy output is scary. Rivals our ship's engines. Okay, so they're coming back to the ship with the black cylinder carefully stowed in the cargo area. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, Jenkins. Jeez, that's quite a big bomb. I mean, that's definitely going to take down any ship that, you know, I've ever seen. And it's antimatter as well, so, I mean, that's like... Well, going by the size of our ship, it's about the same size... What was it? It looked about... Oh, there's Skype going. Uh, it looked probably about, uh, I would say, 50 metres, 100 metres... Well, probably about, yeah, 100 or 200 metres long. Lander, therefore, probably about 10 metres long. And the bomb was about five times bigger, so about 50 metre cubed antimatter bomb. I mean, that is a ridiculous amount. And you've got to times that by the speed of light squared to get the energy output of that. So, uh, I mean, Sumatra might as well just say goodbye right now, unless it's, like, super amazing, which I doubt it really is. But, got to wait until next time. For now, it's goodbye!